Away! Away! A fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high-o silver, the Lone Ranger. settlers in the western United States faced many dangers and hardships. Blazing heat and bitter cold, drought, floods, hostile Indians, and worst of all, the outlaws who defied the local sheriffs and terrorized whole districts. It was the masked rider of the plains who drove them from the new territory. Daring and courageous, no matter what the odds against him, he brought law and order to a lawless frontier and finally made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Cherokee Ridge! Come on, Silver! Away! <laughs> Desperate battle was being fought at the Merrick Ranch. Just at dusk, a band of outlaws had surrounded the house, and inside, Mark Merrick, his wife and son, and two cowhands had prepared to sell their lives dearly. For hours, the fight went on. The three men and the boy crouched at windows, firing, loading, firing again until the barrels of their rifles were red hot. Still, the circle of the dark figures continued to close in. Ada, more bullets, quick. Come and buy. Here, take these. Thanks. Won't, won't they stop when it gets dark? Honey, I don't know. Almost night now, but they ain't slacked up any. But, Bart, what's it mean? Who are these men? Who sent them? Who they are, I couldn't say. Hired killers, I reckon. But who sent them and why, I guess you savvy just as well as I do. Stand aside, Ada. There's one of them skunks trying to sneak past the corrals. I got a beat on him. Oh. Uh, got him. See him crawling back out of the way there? <laughs> There's one that give us all the trouble he's going to for a while. Oh, Bart, it's terrible. Uh-huh, Ada, and it's war. If you don't shoot the other fellow, why, he shoots you. Uh, I wish Klein was dead. You don't wish it any more than I do. No, nor a lot of other folks. How can they let him live when he does such things? Can't never prove anything on him. He ain't out there, you can bet on that. He... Watch out. There. Nope. When there's dirty work to be done, he can always find plenty of gun hands that'll do it for him for cash. He keeps clear. But one of these days... Yes? Well, one of these days, maybe there'll be a lynching party in that hombre's honor. Proof or no proof. Depends on how much folks will stand for. And if I still live through this, I'll be there. You... You mean that maybe... Maybe you... That maybe I won't live through it? Well, honey, I'll tell you. This ain't no time for trying to fool anybody. 
figure it out for yourself. There's anyhow 20 fellas out there. Even counting you, there's just five of us. Any way you add that up, the sum ain't comfortable. Oh, but I don't want anything. What? Ada, it's Tony. Go see how bad hurt he is. Yes. The murdering killers. There. Take that, you sneaking coyote. That's for hitting Tony. Pa. Huh? Hey, young'un, get your head down. Yeah. What are you doing here? What's the matter? Something happened where you was? No, Pa, listen. Huh? They've quit firing from out back for a while, and it's getting dark as anything. All right. All the more reason for staying on the job. They might sneak up from that way. No, please, listen. It's our chance. Look, Pa, I could hop out the back window and maybe get away. Now, Jimmy, you know oh, you please, could... Pa, you just got to listen. I know just how I could do it. Honest, I do. I could call to the well, then make it from there to the trees by the smokehouse. You house. know you could... I could, Pa, I could. After that, there'd be nothing to it. They got their horses way back out of range. I could steal one and be away before they knew it. Then I could bring back help. You have to have help, Pa. Please say I can. Please. Ada. Yes, Pa. How's Tony? He lived, but... But he's out of the fighting? Oh, yes. You see, Pa, now there's just three of us to handle the guns. If help ain't brought, they could rush us any time. What if you Honey, do... the young one wants me to say he can sneak out for help. What do you think? Oh, Jimmy... No, you can't. Well, I can't, too. Gee, I'm no kid no more. I bet I could do it like nothing. Oh, but Ada, you... wait. But you're not Honey, let's allow... figure this out. When he first mentioned it to me, I felt just like you do. But he's just... But I think maybe the young has got something. We're sure to get it if we stay here and fight on like we have been doing. But if Jimmy can get through and bring help, we'll... We'll have a chance and... I'll he'll get be through, Pa. Right. Don't you, you worry. Get through. Just... Just give me the chance. Well, if you don't, son, I... I ain't you sure you'll be any worse off than if you'd stayed behind. Oh. Yep, I, I reckon you can go. Gee. Oh, Jimmy. My boy. You mustn't. Oh, oh Mom, no. I'll be all right. If you're going, you better hurry, son. I, uh, and don't say goodbye. That, that'd that be bad luck. Oh, no. Clem. Yeah. Keep firing as fast as you can. We'll give the kid a chance even if we have to be drilled for it. Same evening in Cherokee Ridge, the closest town to the Merrick Ranch, a lone masked man faced a tensely silent crowd in the cafe. One man was nursing a numbed hand while his gun, smashed by a bullet, lay at his feet. Another cowered against the bars. The masked man called to him. Bat Klein. Yes, stranger? Come here. I don't shoot. Don't I? Come here. What do you want with me, huh? What do you want? See that gun on the floor there? Uh-huh. That fellow tried to draw on me. You saw what happened. Keep it in mind. You try that same thing, and maybe I won't aim for your gun. You understand me? I, I wasn't going to draw. Honest, I wasn't. See that you don't. I, I just and was... keep quiet. Yes, sir. I came here to tell you not to listen. Just a word of warning to the rest of you. You'll not be harmed as long as you don't attempt to interfere. I'm on your side. But I don't suppose that matters. I happen to know that Klein has you so frightened, you're afraid to call your souls your own. I don't expect help from you. Just don't try to help Klein. All right, Klein. Now for you. Who are you? That's something you'll never find out. On the other hand, I know not only who you are, but what you are. I, you're I... a coward, a schemer, and a crook. You're a bully who hires his dirty work done for him. Now, wait, I... I... You had a ranch in Mexico until your neighbors there decided they'd stand for you no longer. I, I never had a you ranch. you and your gang had waited another day to start for the border, you'd have been decorating ropes. But you were lucky. You saved your hides and got your cattle into the States. Then you came here. Listen, fellas. Everything this hombre's telling you is lies. I never was in Mexico. Nobody ever chased me out of nowhere. I... 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 Oh, I'm lying, am I? Oh, don't let me go. I didn't mean it. Wait, sure, I was in Mexico. Sure, now let me go. Very well. Be more careful what you say after this. You came here because you knew this district contained only small ranches, too weak and too disorganized to oppose you. You murdered one sheriff. You've never allowed these people to elect another. That's a... That's what? Nothing. Almost forgot yourself, didn't you? 
Were you going to claim that was a lie also? I never killed nobody. I heard that story, too. One of your men drilled the sheriff. Then, in order to make it appear he hadn't been acting on your instructions, you shot down that man in cold blood. You not only ordered the sheriff's murder, but double-crossed the man who obeyed that order. How could I say anything with you aiming that gun at me? I don't think these men will try anything now. I think they're too interested in what I'm saying. All right, Clan. I'll put my gun away. Now, what have you to say? That in a fair fight, I could bust you right open. Come and try it. You won't draw again? Not unless there's treachery. Then take this. Ah, missed. You try again. I'll fix you this time. There. Oh. You asked for it. Here's another. Oh. Oh. Hilda, get your hand from that gun. That's better. Klein, get up on your feet. I've had enough. Get up, I said. Help with you. I'm hurt. Good enough. Let go. I, I said I had enough. Don't hit me again. Please don't. I'm not. Then let's I'm declaring war, Klein. I'm bringing justice to this territory. I'm giving you a week to get out. One week. You'll dismiss your men. You'll leave your cattle behind. Most of them were stolen. You'll take just enough money to travel on. And you'll never attempt to come back. You can't do that to me. I, Stay I, beyond the week and find out. I tell you, I'm a... Tonto. Uh, you come quick. they heap trouble. Trouble? Uh, they're gunfight at ranch. Tonto, what ranch? Merrick Place. It's being attacked? Uh, me ride fast. Warn you. Klein, is this your work? Did you order an attack on Bark Merrick? No, I never. I, I don't know anything about you it. I threatened you. him just last week. He was trying to organize the small ranchers against you. You told him to stop or take the consequences. No. He didn't stop. I, I, and I didn't. this is the result. You can't prove it. You can't prove a thing. Quiet. Did you men hear what Tonto said? Yeah, we heard what he said. Well, how many of you are willing to ride to give Bart aid? No one? Isn't there a man here with the courage to fight openly against Klein? I see there isn't. I'm not sure I blame you. I know what you suffered when you've tried opposing him before. But men, listen to me. Get in this fight or stay out, it doesn't matter. Klein's through, and I'll finish him. Come, Kimasabi. Ah. We ride. <laughs> Urging Silver and Scout to their greatest speed, the Lone Ranger and Tonto raced out of town and northward toward the Merrick spread. It was a long ride. They had started late, and when they finally reached their goal, the gray dawn was breaking. The battle was over. Oh, hold that, Silver. Oh, 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 oh. Tonto, look there. Uh-huh. This place must have been raked with bullets. And there, there's where someone was wounded. And we'll have a look inside. You look. What? There, a woman. I didn't see you. I heard you ride up. I heard what you called your horse. Oh, I'm here to find... You called him Silver. You're the Lone Ranger. Yes. What's happened here? Where are the others? Klein's men attacked. You recognize them? You can swear they were his men? No, but they must have been. Which way did they go? Where'd they... Wait. Yes? It's all right. I know you must have come to help us, and... And I'm grateful. But now your help is needed. No? My son escaped from the house and sent help. United States Marshal Logan and a posse. You said Logan? Yes, they got here just an hour ago. They drove off Klein's men, then left for town with my husband. The marshal wanted him to make out a statement. Mrs. Merrick. Yes? I could keep quiet about it, but I think it's best that I don't. What do you mean? The name of the United States Marshal for this district is not Logan, but Keller. (gasps) And at this moment, he's at least 200 miles away. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, remained at the Merrick Ranch house only a few minutes. Then they took to the saddle again. But in order to follow the trail of the outlaws, they were forced to ride very slowly. The ground here doesn't show their sign very plainly, Tonto. Mm, he, he, all right. Good, but watch it closely. If we lose their trail and have to hunt it again, we'll be wasting valuable time. You think Bart in danger? I know he is. Uh, that plenty bad. It's clear enough what must have happened, Kimosabe. Uh-huh. When the boy tried to get away from the house, he must have been seen and captured and made to tell his errand. Mm, that's right. Which played right into that gang's hands. The fact they never attempted to rush the house, so they weren't anxious to take unnecessary risks. Them afraid. They thought too much of their skins. Anyhow, Jimmy's capture gave them their opportunity. Uh. They must simply have waited through the night until enough time had elapsed to make it logical for Jimmy to have been able to reach and send back help if he'd gotten away. Ah. Then they chose men to pose as a posse. They chose men they knew wouldn't be recognized by the Merricks. That heap smart. Too clever for Bart's safety, I'm afraid. They staged a fake battle and let it appear the so-called posse had driven them away. The Merricks, of course, would never question the intentions of men who seemed to be friends. Mrs. Merrick says the one man showed a marshal's badge. It must have been stolen. That's right. So now both Jimmy and his father are their captives. Um, what do you think him do? Klein? Uh. He can't permit them to live, Tonto. Oh. For two good reasons. By now, Bart and the boy must know for certain that Klein was behind this. Enough so, I mean, to testify against him. Him never let him do that? No. But his second reason is just as important. What that? Bart tried to make him trouble. He warned Bart what would happen if he kept on. Bart did keep on. Now Klein has to keep his threat. If he doesn't, the other small ranchers of the district will lose their fear of him. Uh Ah. They'll see that Klein can't always punish when he promises he will. Wait, Kimosabe. Look here. What matter? A stroke of luck, Tata. They're heading up that valley. See how that trail goes? Uh Ah. In the valley, they can't turn off. That's right. There's no need for us to ride this slowly. Come, here's our chance to gain on them. Get him up, Scout. Come on, old fellow. Hurry, old fellow. Hurry, boy. The men who had taken Bart Merrick and his son prisoner headed for the rugged country south of Cherokee Ridge. Finally, they drew rein inside a narrow, well-hidden canyon. That Klein was already there, waiting for them. Oh, oh, there, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. So you finally got here. Yeah. Uh-huh. We oui. took you long enough. Uh, wait a minute. You said I be... said wait a minute. We hired out to do a job, and we done it. Here's the fellow you said you wanted, and there's this kid. Now, what more do you want? We took a little longer for it than we figured. Whether well, it's our business. Yeah. Here you get down. <clears throat> Take your dirty hands off. Shut me. up. You climb down too, kid. You ain't tired. You leave my paw alone. And if you don't want to get hurt, you keep shut. <laughs> well, they're yours, Klein. What do you want done with them? Just leave them to me. Sure. <laughs> oh, so that's it. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> that eye of yours. It's standing the way you was. I never noticed it before. That's why you're not feeling so good, huh? <laughs> Who hit you? Out of your business. I know. Put that fool snickering. Ain't funny. Get back in your horse and ride back down the trail a ways. Somebody's got to keep guard. You want us to be found here? Yeah, who'd be looking for us? A masked man and a redskin, that's who. Huh? You heard me. A masked man and a... Get back and keep watch. I have to tell you a million times over. All right, all right. Don't get so hit up. I'm to keep watch for a masked man and a redskin, huh? Clan. You know what I think. I don't know that you do. If you do, I don't care. <laughs> I think it was one of them two that gave you that shiner. <laughs> get up, boy, get up. <laughs> she she's smarter. Well, bud, so you're the gent figured he was going to get folks around here to join up to run me out, eh? That's what I planned, Klein. Yeah? <laughs> well, it looks as if maybe those plans will just have to be put off for a spell. I think I savvy. <laughs> Glad you do. It'll save me explaining. Why, you fool. Did you think I'd let anybody like you stand in my way? (laughs) Bart, I smash your kind before you get started. 
You can smash me. I'm gonna. But, Klein, there's plenty others just like me. When I'm gone, there'll be somebody else to fight you. Do you think you can keep on killing and robbing and bullying folks forever? Threatening, eh? No, not threatening. Just telling you what's bound to happen. It may be soon or it may be late. But there's no room for your kind in the West. Uh, and I hope for the good of everybody you learn that soon. All right. Now, I'll tell you something. Yeah? I'll boss this part of the country till the day I die. <laughs> but if I don't, if somebody does get me, you won't be alive to know it. Murder again, huh? Call it anything you want. That's what it is. Maybe. <laughs> but here's something to think about before I give these boys their orders to finish you off. Huh? When you go, your kid goes with you. Why, you <laughs> rotten... Fine, fine. Hey, well, I told you to stay outside there and keep watch. They're coming. Who's coming? Whoa, 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 whoa. That man's my name's in your toll about. He must have picked up our trail. I hardly got outside when I seen him. How far away are they? Yeah, they ought to get here 10 to 15 minutes. I just caught sight of them way off there in the valley. See to your guns. Yeah, all right. There's cover just outside. Get out there. And when they ride up, blast them out of their saddles. All right, boy, boy. The Lone Ranger and Tonto rode toward the hideout where Bat had met his hired gunman, unaware that they were heading for an ambush. But when they were still some distance from the canyon, the masked man suddenly raised his hand in a signal to halt. Pull up, Tonto. Uh, oh, 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 boy. Oh, boy. Why, now, come here. <clears throat> Step over here. Now, take a look at that. Oh, horseman, here. Yeah. And recently, so recently, Tonto, that these blades of grass are still bent over. They haven't had time to spring up again. Oh. Tonto, no one would be here unless he was a member of that gang. Isn't that right? This country's almost deserted through here. If someone was at this place as recently as these signs indicate... What do you think? Look back the way we came. Uh huh. We rode through that valley. From here, most of the valley's in plain sight. You mean fellers see us? Right. And what we do? I don't like this, Tonto. If he saw us, he rode away to give warning. Huh. If he was stationed here, they can't be far away. Not right. I've got an idea. They're waiting for us right now. Uh -huh. One moment. What matter? I think I have an idea, Tonto. What that? I just thought of something. We passed back the trailerways. Uh huh. Come, we're going back there. <laughs> They're waiting for us, and we want to meet them. But we'll keep that appointment in our own way. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Come on. Concealed in the underbrush outside the canyon, the outlaws waited for almost an hour. Bat grew impatient. Hey. Come here. Yeah? You've been here just about an hour. You said they weren't more than 10 or 15 minutes away. What's happened to them anyhow? Oh, gosh, Clyde, I don't know. You sure you seen them? It all gone right, I did. Plain as day. Couldn't have made any mistake. And are you sure they didn't see you? Well, how could they? That's what I'm asking. There's where I was, Klein. You, you can't see the place, but it's around that bend there. Now, how could they have seen me from the valley? And if you know it was them and that's all the farther away they was, why don't they show up? Well, there's only one answer to that I can think of. Yeah? They couldn't have had any notion they were seen. Yeah, but they weren't so awful far behind us. Maybe they noticed they was getting mighty close on our trail. Now, if I was them in a case like that, I'd move mighty slow till I knew just what lay ahead of me. Yeah. Maybe they got off their horses and coming afoot. Maybe. Yeah, but if you don't believe us seeing them, what's the use of waiting here? Let's get on back to where Judge got in prison. Yeah, but we'll wait a while longer. Mm -hmm. You're the boy. We can't take chances. Won't hurt us any. We'll give another 30 minutes or so. Yeah, and here's something you can do. Hmm? Look at them steers drifting this way. Yeah, I noticed them before. We'll move them on. Those hombres show up, they'll be coming from that direction. We don't want nothing in the way to stop our bullets. Well, I'll have to show myself. Go on. Don't have to be noisy about it. Just get them head around. All right. I'll all right, it. fellow, get them. Say, what they the... tricked us. They was hiding right among them steers. Shoot them. Shoot them down. Shoot them. Take it. Now my hands off. Reach, Klein, or get drilled. Uh, I'm reaching. And tell your men to drop their guns. Drop them, fellas. Drop them or you'll kill me. Tonto. Uh, I'll watch these fellas while you get Bart and Jimmy. Uh, oh, wait. While you're there, Tonto. Uh, what do? 
Gather every rope on their saddles. We'll teach these fellows a lesson they'll never forget. It was late in the afternoon when the citizens of Cherokee Ridge were startled with the sight of a small herd of stampeding cattle. They raced into town from the north and plunged wildly down the town's main street. <laughs> Behind the steers, their guns blazing, the townspeople could make out an Indian and a masked man, both mounted on powerful stallions. But ahead of the band came two other mounted figures, Mark Merrick and his son Jimmy. Mark called to the onlookers as they crowded into the street to watch. Hi, folks, hi. Look what we're bringing you. We're bringing a parcel of crops. Oh, oh, there. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Mark, you local? What's going on here? Where'd them steers come from? Who's that masked man? Steady, boy, steady. Clem, that masked man's the Lone Ranger. Oh, Lone Ranger. That, that was the Lone Ranger in the cafe last night. Sure was. <laughs> now run your eyes over them steers coming this way. <laughs> hey, there's fellas tied to their backs. <laughs> One of them's Clyde. There's a fella tied to every steer in the bunch. <laughs> <laughs> Yippee! Ride him, cowboy! There you are, folks. If you want this county cleaned up, just take a hand. Ain't a one of them armed, and none of them's feeling so good after the ride they had. Go ahead, help yourself. Right. <laughs> Come on, folks. What's there to be a fear to now? Come on. They've had a ride to them steers. Now we give them a ride on the rail. <laughs> 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 Jimmy, just look at them pole cats, especially Klein there. <laughs> Tied to the backs of a bunch of low coat steers. <laughs> you ever see anything half so funny? Why, it serves them right. It's just what they had a coming. <laughs> that wasn't the only reason the masked man done it, young'un. <laughs> that masked hombre's smart. He knows guns won't always lick crooks. And the law won't always either. Why? <laughs> but just get folks to laughing at them, and that's their finish every time. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.